We're from Fancy Tiger Crafts, and we're going to show you how to get your craft on. I'm going to show you how to execute a Norwegian pearl, which is great to use instead of the regular pearl stitch if you're a continental knitter. The Norwegian pearl allows you to keep the working yarn in the back of your work the entire time that you're working the pearls. This way you don't have to move the yarn from front to back when you're working knits and pearls in the same row. To execute a Norwegian pearl, you're going to take your working needle and bring it under the working yarn and then into the stitch like you're purling. Now this is the weird part. You're going to bring the needle all the way over, wrap it as if to knit, bring it all the way back to the front, and then through that hole off the needle. So let's do it again. First yarn over the needle. So I just executed a little yarn over and then I put the needle in as if to purl. I'm going to bring the needle around and work it like a knit and then bring it back out the way that I came in and off. So the pearls look totally normal. It's just that the yarn is held in the back the entire time that I'm working the stitch. So I'll do it again. Yarn over, needle in front, bring the needle back, knit it, and then the needle comes back out. And even though you're doing a yarn over before you start the stitch, the yarn over goes away when you finish the stitch. So you're not creating any extra stitches. Your pearls should look totally normal. The Norwegian pearl is really fantastic to get into if you're a continental knitter because it will allow you to purl and execute rib stitch very quickly. You guys are gonna love it.